And I can guarantee you, there will be hundreds of thousands of officers walking away the same day those orders come down. We don't protect and serve the government. We protect and serve the people. And I know this is all hypothetical and I'm not, you know, a big conspiracy theorist. But given everything that went down the last year, it's not too far fetched anymore. You know, anything can happen. You know, anything can happen. You know, anything can happen. But what I'm saying is, we are all human, just like you all are. So if we was to enforce that at work here on other people's families, then that means that there are officers where we live enforcing that onto our families. We live in a free country. You should have the choice. It should not be the government's decision. Sergeant, we're taking Cadillac Heights. I'll need 50 of your men armed and in full body armor in one hour. Mr. Johnson, you can tell the CEO that demolition crews will have total access at 0600 hours tomorrow morning. Hey, we don't do that kind of work. That was a direct order, Sergeant. Driving people out of their homes is no work for a cop. Now, Sergeant, 15 years on the force is quite an investment. Your job, your pension. Maybe instead of worrying about these squatter people, you might think about your own family. I am. I'm thinking I have to go home and face them. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also to you, uh, fellow laborers, fellow followers, you few sisters, and let me say Shalom to the elect. Okay, anyway, I went and uh, looked at this uh, video that came across that's gone viral uh, with this police and uh, a lot of stuff I couldn't put in the actual, uh, I couldn't say in the video that he even said, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, we always prepared for the sacrifice of um, having these things removed. But um, it's all good, though. Um, we got many sources to get this information out, and that's all I think that matters, that the, we do the work to the best of our ability. Now, anyway, this cop says... Um, this police says that he is not there to protect the government, protect and serve the government, but the people. And that's partially true, but mainly it's for the government. This is why you have that badge of honor. This is why you have that shield, okay, off the shields, so to speak. Um, but that shows the police doesn't even know. But the Most High is really stirring some things up. And us prophets... We've been saying it over and over again. And let's say it do get better, you know. We're looking forward to it going to where, where it's going. But it's always going to be like birth and pains. It'll get a little better, then it'll get worse. It'll get a little better, then it gets worse. Until ultimately the bubble explodes. Now this, this video clip of um, RoboCop 3 uh, going dated back in 1993. I've actually seen the video. I'm mean, at the movie. Um, all the RoboCops, and it was very interesting to see the um, the disorder and the chaos and the breakdown of the um, you know the, the uh, judicial system, you know the um, the uh, officers, the law. Let me say this breakdown of the law. You can see that also in uh, Judge Dredd. So it's always put in these movies, and these rulers of darkness have goals. 
So they understand what's going on and what they're doing. But all the way until the, the Yahawashah's return is when they're going to think that they have it in total control. I'm saying that the top, top at least, I ain't talking about the regulars. The regulars don't even know what's going on. But these, these top, top families of the earth, they know what's going on, man. Okay? So it was interesting in this RoboCop thing, they had the police made stands and they got up and they walked off. It's not going to always go in that direction because you're going to have people who want to still worry about their families. But then you will have this happen. And I also believe as far as um, when it comes to the elect, there will be others helping the elect too. The Most High does everything through vessels as well. Right? Um, the Most High will help the elect and it will be uh, your enemies. Right? Some of your enemies by nation will help. When a man's ways to please the Lord, he makes his enemies to be at peace with him. And that's in the book of Proverbs. So we can see that when the police go, you know, then everything else, uh, chaos comes. Disorder. You've already had this, the BLM who's going into defunding the police. Well, we see how that worked, didn't we? And you know, the sheeple, they would just do anything. All you got to do is put it out there and everybody will follow, man. Uh, Sirach, no, not Sirach, Ecclesiastes in the Bible, Ecclesiastes 12 and uh, 2. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, right? And those that look out the windows be darkened, right? Meaning there's no jobs, there's no work. The strong men bowing themselves. They're coming up, well, we don't got no work. Your politicians, everybody, they don't know what to do. It's all in total confusion. Well, what are we going to do? Uh, we can't do this. We, we, there's nothing we can do. Everybody's going to be looking for answers. And there will be none. Okay, it goes on to say, um, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, right? No jobs, and 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 he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, I mean quietness. You know, when the birds chirp in the morning, <laughs> you wake up and you, you this is all you hear, because there's nothing going on. The rush hour is, is is come to a halt. Okay. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Now I went into that word music. That's going into the sirens. Right? That's going into, you will not hear the ambulance. You will not hear the police cars. You won't hear, um, you won't hear horns. And, it, and all, literally the music itself too is brought low. But that's going into the, uh, the sirens and uh, the work. You know, you hear the horns blow. The school, there would be no bells ringing. Okay. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, right? As the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be burdened, right? And desire shall fail, because man goeth to his long home, right? And mourners go about the streets. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter where you go you're gonna you're gonna uh, visit turmoil when you don't have money and you don't have the jobs you got uh, I believe in this same chapter or this book it talks about he will smite the summer homes and the winter homes right all this is going to be done away with and this is just the beginning of sorrows as Matthews 24 bring out let's go to Sirach uh, uh, Ecclesiastes is second well Salakia second Ezra um, uh, what is that 15 and 14 woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another right and we can see this happening when it comes to I'll say this thing some are for some is against okay and the swords in their hands because you're going to have some people say the only way I can get life back to normal is 
you have to, you know, swear to this thing. And some going to say, man, you out of your mind, okay? And the fact that police are even going to be involved to some degree, not even with the law. In fact, a true story, I got pulled over by a, a police years back, maybe 15 years ago, 14 years ago. And um, I literally had um, expired tags. It was The tags was no good. And um, I agreed with the adversary. I, I spoke with him nicely. We had a great conversation about political conversation. And, you, and you know, I'm going to just cut to the chase. And he said, well, that's why I became a police, because I know what's getting ready to go down. Sooner or later, it's going to go down. And, I, and this is why I became a police, so I could see what these elites are doing. And that's what he literally told me. So you're going to have some of these police in them last days may drop it, may even come to the truth, right? May finally see the light. Or if they don't come into the truth, they'll be a supporting cast so to speak, right? Or they just be playing out their part. Everybody's a supporting cast in a Most High show anyway. Anyway, um, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, right? And you probably got to know the police will be involved in that too, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they shall not regard their kings nor their princes, you know, their presidents or their politicians, and the course of their action shall stand in their power, whatever you have. If somebody got a, you know, an AK, uh, um, whatever, uh, AR-15s and all those other weapons, their course of their action shall stand with what they got. So if somebody has a knife and you have an AR, well, guess what? <laughs> the one with the AR is going to win. Okay? Um... A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, right? As we see in this Robocop, if you keep continue to watch the movie, they had recruiters come down from several different places and they made a one police unit. So it ain't like it's going to be no police. They, they expect those that don't want to accept it to, to get funneled out, fueled out of the way, uh, fizzled out of the way, and they'll have more likely big corporation police. Right, I forgot what they call that, but it's a lot. It's been a long time since we went through that. Um, a man shall desire to go in the city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, and this is what happened when you panic. When you panic and you have no food and you have no substance, you know what's going to happen. First thing they want to do is come in coming to your home, right? They're going to steal whatever they can out of your vehicle or your car. You know, they're, they're going to cipher your gas, you know. You can imagine the laundry list goes, you know. But shall destroy their houses with the sword, whether it's a gun or knife or sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread for great tribulation. And you're going to have the grimy ones who's not going to just spoil their house, we're going to, you know, spoil their loved ones, if you know what I mean, right? And live it up to the best that they can. You got these, these jakes and these other nations that are waiting for this to happen, man, just so they can release all wickedness upon the earth, right? And that's the, 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 uh, the spirit of the Lord, the angels of the Lord, ultimately. It's going to, on the right hand side, on the left hand side. But it goes on to say, then it shall be known who is his prophets. So anyway, I just thought this was interesting. I saw this video. I was working, I was going to do another video. And I saw this and immediately it came to my mind about the RoboCop scene. Anyway, that's all I have on that show.